Hi guys, welcome back to Belle's Books. I'm Carly and today I'm here with a video to review Three Women by Lisa Tadeo. Now I know I'm behind the curve on this one because it was talked about a lot at the back end of last year and I've only just finished it. But I have a lot of thoughts on this. So I thought I'd make an individual review video so that we could have a discussion about it. Um, I know this has had mixed reviews. I've seen lots of positives and a few negatives and I have mixed feelings about it. So that's why I wanted to talk about it. I'm ill, oh, by the way, which is why I sound gross. I'm sorry. I've got a cup of tea. Um, so I'm gonna keep drinking that because my throat hurts and I've got a cold. Uh, I do not have the coronavirus and I'm not panic buying toilet roll. Anyway, um, this book, Okay, where to start? Um, first of all, oh, sorry, that's on my mouth. Um, first of all, I vlogged a little bit of this um, when I started reading it, and I struggled a little bit with the writing style. And I found there's like a prologue which I found strange because today it starts off by talking about an an experience her mother had in Italy. Her mother grew up in Italy. She had an experience with um, a man following her every day to and from work, behind walking behind her, masturbating, which um, is a very uh, disturbing image. And her mother just went along with this um, because in Italy, uh, you know, there at the time, I think it was in the 50s or something, you just got on with things. Um, so I think she's framing she sets this up as a as a framing mechanism to say women have to deal with men's expectations regarding sex and just deal with it and that is the theme of this book this book was marketed as a book about female desire and sexuality it is not that i think the marketing campaign around this book is way off kilter It is about the way that women are expected to conform to patriarchal ideas of sex and desire. It is a performance. The women in, these, in this book perform desire and sexuality as they are expected to by patriarchal expectations. That's what this book is about. These are three case studies of white, middle-class women of their experiences of sexual encounters which all include trauma there was i wasn't aware when i picked this book up um of any trigger warnings it was marketed as there would be descriptions of sex in here and almost kind of like uh, a titillation kind of thing, like a non-fiction Fifty Shades, if you will. Um, there is some harrowing stuff in here. It's difficult to read. There is a lot of triggering episodes in here. And I think the content is is valid. And it, I'm, I'm glad I read this. Like, I'm not, I'm not giving this wholly negative review. Hang on, give, bear with me, I need a sip of tea. Um, I think the content is very important and it should be read, but it's, it needs to be recognised that these are just th the th three examples of three women's experiences of negative sexual encounters and their responses to those encounters. And the way that trauma in their lives have shaped their ideas about how they should perform sexually and what desire should be and i think that's an important discussion to have but this is not a book about female desire that's a massive universal statement which cannot be made with this book this is just three examples like of three white women it's not representative at all um but like i say i think these experiences are important and to me this felt like two, 
it felt like two different books, right? So I felt like Maggie's story, which is on public record, Maggie Wilkin was um, a woman who had a relationship with her teacher. She was groomed by her teacher um, and had a, a sexual relationship with him when she was a minor. I think that is important subject matter to discuss. I think that that deserved a book in its own right. Maybe looking at other examples because I know it happens a lot and these men get away with it like he did. It went to court and he got off and he celebrated. Um, and the people that thought things were going on or knew things were going on backed him up. And I'm so angry <laughs> because I... I have seen this happen as well um and they get away with it and I think it needs to be talked about in its own in its own medium so Maggie's story was the one that really affected me the most um but yeah, I just, I think that could have been dealt with better. There was no commentary or analysis as well. It was, the stories were told from the point of view of each of these women, which was an interesting way to tell it, but there's some, it's problematic there with the way that Tadeo is not distancing herself from these women. She's writing, it wasn't in first person, it was in third person, but you're, you get, you're in it with them, you get the feeling that she's telling their perspectives, which is, you know, it's quite problematic, I guess. But um, it does draw you in, so it, it is very engaging. Although I will say, I found, like, I struggled with her writing style at the beginning. Just some, like, turns of phrase and the way she wrote certain sentences, I wasn't, it, it took me out of the narrative because I was like, what? I don't, that's a bizarre... Uh, kind of metaphor or whatever but it uh, yeah I just I found her writing style it's like clunky um but um other than that it was quite engaging and the only thing that brings these three women together is the way that society has formed conception of female desire to revolve around men and that's the only thing that they're all together in the, in this book so she like I said she doesn't give much commentary or analysis apart from in the uh, right at the end in an epilogue she lets the material speak for itself which is fine if you understand the issues that are at play here and if you can see what's going on there's descriptions of sexual encounters which I read it and I could see that these women were not owning this encounter they were not owning this desire they were performing it because that was expected of them and if you can understand that fine but I think it maybe it should have been set out clearer that this is what was happening because she just she just reports on what th these women have gone through based on interviews with them and uh, you know in the emails and experiences and in terms of in Maggie's case um, court documentation but yeah I just I felt like it was it fell short for me as a book it fell short and I don't know whether that's because I came to it with a certain understanding of what it should have been about based on the marketing campaign and the massive hype that was surrounding it. Thinking, oh, this is a book about female desire and sexuality. It really isn't. It really isn't. It's, it's a book about the way patriarchy lets women down and vilifies them and calls them liars when they call out abuse. And yeah, <laughs> I think it's a really important read, but I don't think it, did a good enough job I don't feel like it did what it was supposed to do um I felt like it could have been two different books and maybe what she should have done was done more research with a bigger demographic and I know that the only reason she got these three women was because 
they're the only ones that wanted to carry on with it and lots of people dropped out but you can't make universal statements about sexuality and desire based on three white women yeah it's not <laughs> that's not um representative um so yeah if you want to make sweeping statements about that then you need a bigger data set and lots more experience that is representative which this isn't but it really has affected me and i just wanted i don't know i just wanted to say it it's interesting i'm glad i've read it I think there should be more of this kind of stuff, of women's experiences, very specific, um, but also, you know, what with a wider range of, of people and experiences. Because the thing that came out of this for me was that the same injustices being perpetuated, the same misconceptions about what women want and sexuality and desire is it's not they didn't own it they didn't own this desire and these sexual experiences they were they were all starved of love and affection and they just got the peanuts that were thrown at them um and they took what they could get and all of the men in their lives were manipulative and just utter shit <laughs> um so yeah it was it was problematic but i think it is important to to read about these experiences and we need more of it i think maggie's story should have been taken maybe in a different vein like with in a push towards the me too movement with look at these experiences of young women that are being groomed by men that get away with it because they are a win prizes for being a model teacher which is bullshit or they look a certain way you know he's an attractive man therefore he can't possibly have fingered this girl in the classroom like oh ted bundy was so beautiful he couldn't possibly have murdered all these girls like i know that's a bit of a weird comparison but it's the same thing it's society saying but look at this man he couldn't possibly have done this the women must be lying come on guys there's a theme here and I think that needs to be picked apart and more evidence and more experiences need to come out to show that. Um, yeah. Oh, Dan's making pancakes. Um, so I'm going to go downstairs and drink more tea. I think I'm going to lose my voice by the end of the day. So I would recommend this book, but I would go into it with caution and go into it being aware that it's not a book about sex, it's about trauma. And um, the way that difficult experiences shape your response to the world and the people that you interact with. Um, I didn't personally get on the writing style, but others I know found it um, very engaging. And I, for me, it was the content that was engaging, not the writing. Um, I don't know, if, I think I'd probably read something else by her, but yeah, I just wanted to come in here and, and ramble at you about this because I had lots of feelings about this book before I take it back to the library. Um, I am way behind with my wrap ups because I've been ill and doing lots of PhD stuff. So I will do my January, February wrap up um, for you hopefully very soon and um talk to you about what i'm reading at the moment i'm participating in the irish readathon um so i will do lots more videos when i can talk again uh, i'll speak to you in my next video bye